It's hard work. And that's exactly the way the Ramam describes it in his comment at the end of Hilchos Lulav. Hasimcha sheyismach adam ba'asiyas ha-mitzvah. The joy that one experiences when they perform a mitzvah. Or serving Hashem in general. Avoda gedolahi. It's a lot of hard work. V'chol ha-monea atzmo misimcha zu. And anyone who refrains from achieving this level of joy. Ra'u ilahi parami menu is God forbid deserving of punishment. And what's the proof for that? We read in this week's Parsha that God forbid terrible things can befall the people who fail to serve Hashem from a state of joy and gladness of heart. And the end of that Pasuk reads, After all, such an abundance of goodness, how could you not serve God from a place of joy? And sometimes when we're asked, how you doing? How's it going? We may answer, it's all good. But is it really all good? Do we have not one or a few things that we can complain about or wish were different or better? I'll share with you an interpretation from my father-in-law, Rabbi Willig, who understands the words meirov kol, not necessarily as a meaning an abundance of goodness of everything being good, rather rov in the sense that it's a majority of goodness. And perhaps that's the avoda gadola, the hard work described in the Rambam. To think that everything is perfect all the time might be impossible. But to take the perspective that most things are good, at least most of the time, that's something that is attainable with a little bit of hard work. As we close out this year with just a couple more weeks, let's try to refocus and gain this very, very important perspective of things in our lives being mostly good. And with that refreshing perspective, may we all merit a sweet and happy year ahead, full of only blessings. Have a wonderful Shabbos.